It's been a tough week for the royal family. Following the announcement that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle plan to step back from their royal duties, reports have surfaced about how Harry's family truly feels about the situation. Such reports have said that Prince William feels let down, Kate Middleton is incredibly hurt, Queen Elizabeth feels disappointed, and that Prince Charles is livid. According to royal expert Katie Nichol, Kate Middleton has tried to serve as a peacemaker among her family members. Well, look, we know there have clearly been a lot of family tensions, rifts, fallouts behind the scenes, Nicole told Entertainment Tonight. I think throughout all of this, Kate has tried very much to be the peacemaker. Remember that she and Harry were, at one point, incredibly close. She, Harry and William, were a very special trio, and I think she's been keen to try to see that rift closed up. Nicole also predicted that eventually the relationship between Harry and his brother would heal. At some point down the future, there will be a closeness between the four of them, if not for themselves, for the royal cousins, because it's emerged that the Cambridge children have only actually met Archie a handful of times. I suppose that's down to the Sussexes being in Windsor and the Cambridges being in London. Prince William and Kate Middleton are parents to three children. But of course, with the Sussexes now spending a good chunk of their year overseas, you know, one has to wonder how close is the relationship between the cousins going to be. Nicole said in reference to Harry and Meghan's plan to split time between the UK and Canada that Harry grew up very close to his cousins. It was always his intention for his children to be close to William's children. I think everyone's hoping that they can move on from this difficult period, put the warring behind them and actually allow for the royal cousins, when they are together, at least in the same country, to actually get to spend some quality time together. Harry has been in London with his family following the Sandringham summit, in which he hashed out his new role in the monarchy, while Meghan has stayed in Canada with eight-month-old Archie. 